as you can see, my boyfriend acts like he owns me, but um, back to the regular scheduled program. Hello, we are taking it to my car because I felt like it. Don't mind the shit in the back because it don't matter. Mind your business. We smoking Damiana today and some lavender because as you can see, I already started on it. This is my part. Well, this is take two. Matter of fact, because of course my boyfriend wants to call when I actually am doing something. This whole time I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> he wants to call to see what I'm doing when I'm actually doing something. Mind your business. I don't care as long as he don't think I'm cheating. But it don't seem like that. But I do want to say that we are that couple that have those conversations. Because why not? Like we know how to communicate. So we choose to. And we talked about, like, people, well, I'm not going to tell nobody's business, but, yeah, we were on the subject of cheating and how it is with couples, but we both obviously showed that we, we're we not cheating on each other. <laughs> but it's like, you know, it's just the talk of the day, like, every fucking day, and I'm tired of it, honestly, because it's depressing, and it makes people insecure. It makes them ruin their own relationships that they do have, the good relationships that they do have. Because I will admit, sometimes my insecurities do get the best of me. But then also, people be right and people need to work on themselves, you know? There's been just too many stories I've heard and in my previous relations, it's like, no. If, like, I'm to the point where I just get to, let me slow down because I'm, I don't want to try to sound smart. I'm trying to say that I just want good to happen to me. I want good within me. I want good in general. And people dish out shit and expect that shit to not be thrown back in their face. And honestly, I can't feel bad because I know previously I've done shit where I'm not proud of. And I'm like, you didn't have to do that. But then in my previous eyes, I kept seeing it as revenge when in reality, you that's that's who you are. That's what you think is okay. And it's like, no, at the end of the day, those things aren't okay. It don't matter if they did something first. Don't retaliate. Like, retaliation just leads to you hurting yourself again because it's going to keep happening because you're not breaking a cycle. Breaking a cycle is just leaving. Don't say nothing. Leave. Because karma's going to bite you in the ass. Everybody has gotten their karma, including me. So, therefore, be a good person. Not because of karma. I don't want you to get it wrong. But just be a good person, like, for real. Like, it's not worth it. It really takes more energy to be mad all day. It really takes more energy to be bitter. It takes more energy to just be a bad person. It does. It really does. Physically, it does. Mentally, it does. Emotionally, verbally, like, it does. Like, you just... You didn't have to say that. You didn't have to do that. So why did you do it? And you can't figure out why you did it. Figure your shit out before getting into a relationship. That's the message. Figure your shit out before getting into a relationship. Because that was the moral of the story. That's what we both agreed on. Me and my boyfriend was like, yeah, if you, if you know that you're going to cheat, you should not even be in a relationship. But then we also agreed that nobody was given the manual for relationships. We're just figuring all this shit out on our own because our parents don't show good relationships. And when they do, we still got to figure out our own stuff because only because they are doing it doesn't mean that it's okay for me to do it. And it's never okay for me to do it because I am mad or I feel some type of way or I just am not feeling a relationship because I'm just going to be single. I would rather do destruction while single. Do your destruction while you're single. Because all you're going to do is hurt other people. And then, you know, the saying goes, hurt people, hurt people, you know. I'm just chilling right now. And I am going on my fourth month of not working. And I'm just doing this shit. Like, I'm just able to. And I'm grateful for that. Because it's like... <laughs> I don't want to work, so I'm choosing not to. And some people think I'm crazy. Some people just talk and just be like, mm, when I tell them, but then they want to know what I'm doing to make the money. And it's like, no, first of all, mind your business. Second, it's nothing. It's just flowing energy, literally, because I'm going day by day. 
Some days I cry. Some days I'm happy. Some days I'm grateful. Sometimes I'm just sitting here, you know? And I'm I'm just chilling, dude. You see me now? The podcast is not going to show the other side of me where I'm like screaming and shit and crying because it's like a semi-panic attack because, well, it's a realization of me not doing something while society keeps trying to teach me that I have to be doing something in order to get something. And since I believe in the flow of energies, it's like if my energy is not bad and if I'm just chilling, I don't see what harm I would be doing. I would really be attracting more things to come to me because I'm all show. Damn! Because I'm just showing that, you know? I I personally feel that. I'm a spiritual person. I'm a spiritual being. And I do believe in manifesting. I, shit. My period came this morning. Well, my I'm sorry. My period came yesterday. I don't know why I keep saying this morning. It came yesterday. And yesterday morning was when I said, um, I'm tired of this smell, like this pre-period smell. I need my period to come. Like, please bring my period because there's no point in you smelling like this for like three days. And then boom, it came. <laughs> it came. It came. It came. Don't burn the witch. Don't burn the witch. Okay? Don't burn the witch, please. Blah, blah, blah. Like, please, please. Don't, 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 don't do it, please. But, um, yeah. It, it, it happened though, for real. And I was like, oh shit. Like, okay. Bring in the monies. Bring in the monies. And it's like, I don't know what I said, but shit, I was like, then whatever I said, I need to do it the same way with money, because bring in the monies. That, you know, like, I'm just an abundant person. And I see the abundance here and there, you know. It just, it just, but it's like, my point is, I want it to flow. I want it to just flow. Passive income, like that, like that, like that. Because I'm going to still be doing this, but it's like, it's... It's it's to it's to the point where I won't be thinking of the worries later because I don't like that feeling. I like being like this all day. I don't want to be like this for five minutes and then the next five minutes I'm like, damn, girl, you got bills to pay. Do you have the money in your account? No. So the bills is just going to have to wait. The bills are just going to have to wait for the money. For real. Honestly, that's that's my attitude from now on because I'm tired. I'm tired of working for bare minimum when I know that I'm worth more. I am worth more, so therefore I'm going to get more. And in order for me to get more, I have to work on myself. And I have to be patient. And that's the main thing I've been trying to work on is my patience. I, this is me just waiting. Like, I don't know what I'm waiting for, and I really don't care. So I will, I will admit sometimes I do, but sometimes I really don't because I trust the universe, and I'm just chilling until then chilling until then you want the best advice in the world chill until then and honestly i don't have kids so and i'm glad i don't because i feel like it would have been i would have had to settle because i decided to have kids and that's what a lot of people don't understand they decided to have kids and the ones that are victims well that were victims of like rape because in this day and age I wouldn't be surprised since they want to pass a law of us keeping babies even if you were raped um so yeah with that being said I'm gonna stop saying that matter of fact because not every woman chooses to have kids Ooh, this shit I think I a little lavender seed went in my throat but yeah so, yeah, since that's the case, I want to say instead that I, I just want everyone to live however they can. Like, yes, you have kids, you have responsibilities, you have, like, you brought human beings to this earth. Like, I would have found any another way to get rid of said child, like abortion or... Well, matter of fact, for those that are pregnant right now, because I don't want to say the wrong thing. I just want to get my point across of helping. Drink some mugwort tea. Drink some mugwort tea or smoke some mugwort. I'm literally, I've been drink, I've been drinking and smoking Damiana and mugwort, and they're total opposites. They both do you good with your health regardless, but too much mugwort will make you infertile. 
Too much mugwort will make you infertile. And Damiana does the opposite. And what I do is I do half and half to balance it out. That's my secret. Because I've had so many people that I came across, like, either on social media or in person. Where they actually talk about how um, they get pregnant and then they have an abortion that they don't tell nobody. Or they wanted to find other ways of from not taking birth well they just didn't want to take birth control because ever since i told them that i stopped taking birth control and i've been feeling better looking better being better i have some like stuff here and there because i have well i'm not gonna say i do but i previously had low iron and birth control made it seem like they got rid of everything like the benefit wise but then they have a whole pamphlet of um no they have a whole fucking dictionary of side effects of it so yeah fuck for, fuck that honestly Fuck birth control. This is my birth control, honestly. Like I, I, me and my boyfriend, we be getting it in. You know, like, like I'm. It's it's not that serious. We're grown. We be getting it in. So that's my babies. <laughs> I know I be looking like a stud to y'all. Well, to the close-minded people, but you know, I'm just sexy. I attract both genders like that. I just got it like that. And for the straight people that be thinking they straight until they see me. You're welcome. Like, that's what it is. Like, it's not even cockiness because I never thought myself that way. I would always try to downplay, like, oh, maybe I do need to be more girly. Or maybe I do need to, like, find a balance within myself to do this. Fuck that. You see my nails, bitch? Because I'm that girl. Like, that's what I feel. You see this jacket? Like, you see how I'm propped up? Like, that's just what it is. I'm that girl. I'm a girl. I'm not the typical girl, obviously. But if that man said that he's attracted to me and that woman said that she's attracted to me, but the woman is the main one that try to claim that they're straight, but then feel some type of way about me looking a certain way, babe, just say I'm sexy. That's, that's all. Just say I'm sexy. You're attracted to me. You're attracted to me. It's okay. And then the niggas too. That's why they're trying to see if I'm a stud first. So that they don't seem, feel gay. Like, you know, I'm making people question their sexuality. And I love it, you know? Like, that's what I'm realizing. I love it. I love it. I love y'all. Because I know y'all love me. Mm-hmm. For the ones that don't. That's, that's, that's what you get, boo. Matter of fact, a kiss to it. But, for real, me and my boyfriend, we be getting it in. And I just was tired of the birth control. And I was... We we both hate condoms, so it's like sometimes I risk it. Like it does cause imbalance, you know. But your your body will let you know when when it's imbalance. Your body will let you know. And when my body lets me know, I go ahead and shake back because we don't have to have sex every single day. Like me and him, we're on the same page of that. It's we don't have to to prove our love. Like we already know we love each other. We know what it is. Sometimes you know I get in my little feelings because. And, you know, I just, <laughs> but then I forgot that, it, yeah, he works, so sometimes he be tired. And I haven't been working, so I be considerate of that, you know. Like, some people just don't feel like doing it every day. They don't mean they cheating. And the nigga's not cheating, so it's just one of those. Like, he's not, he's just tired. <laughs> but, so, yeah, that, that's a sign for some of you ladies. Like, the nigga's just tired. If you feel like he's cheating and y'all don't have open conversation about the situation... One, either communicate to the nigga or drop him. Like, I've lately been just dropping people whenever they've been weird. I, I just don't give a fuck no more. Like, if they start being weird or if they just are not giving what it's supposed to give, like, talk to yourself first. See if you think you're, like, just be like, hmm, am I trying to, am I trying to find a problem because I'm scared to commit to either a friendship or a relationship? Am I finding a problem because I'm afraid to commit or is there actually a problem between us? If you feel like there's a problem between y'all, make it known, but don't come like in a bad way. Like don't make it seem like you want a problem, like you're trying to fight the bitch like or the nigga. Like just talk to like, hey, like, like try to find, I'll say try to question them. And if they have attitude or if they automatically get defensive talk it out the best way you can if they just don't want to talk 
how did y'all get there in the first place question that too like how did y'all get there in the first place how did y'all meet because people really be trying to find love and i see this in a lot of women too i ain't gonna lie because we set ourselves up for failure by trying to uh romanticize niggas that aren't romantic i'm i'm guilty of that too like my my boyfriend is slowly become romantic because I verbally told him that that's what I want. I'm not making stupid posts about it and hoping that he sees it and I'm not finna complain about it to other people until I complain about it to him first. Cuz if it doesn't change within the relationship and I go pl- complain about it to somebody else, they're going to talk me out of the relationship. And obviously the person that I'm in the relationship with is not talking me into it by ignoring my wishes, so therefore Get out the relationship, Miss Girl. I I'd be breaking up with him too, like just like, hey, this is what it is, and this is what I want. Like, I feel like I deserve this. If he agrees, we get back together. If he don't, then so be it, and I move on. And as soon as that happens, <laughs> that's when people want to hurry up and do stuff. And in reality. With him, it's the, it's like in between. Like, you know, like if you feel like you deserve that, like what have you done to deserve that? Be me? I'm just playing. But no, we talked it out and we came to the middle ground. Like, okay, you got to step up too. If you want me to step up, you got to step up. And usually we don't notice that we don't have our own step ups either. Like, it's like we, can, we complain about a bunch of stuff or either we have a list of the perfect man and we're not perfect ourselves and we don't do shit ourselves. Yeah, I'm guilty, and I'm working on it. So be it. Because guess what? I got my mans, and we good, and we're going to always be good. And the times that we aren't, it turns out to be good at the end. (laughs) And I want that for y'all, too, shit. Yeah. This is going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Astounding. Because I'm not one of those stupid-ass... Alpha male podcast. Fuck y'all again, by the way, because <laughs> like, why can't y'all be positive? Why why can't y'all try to uplift your brothers into being in a good committed relationship where it's like, you know, balance? Like, why nobody focus on balance no more? Everybody's trying to focus on a get back or trying to fucking get somebody with money. Like, shit, I do too, but damn, I, I tried it and it didn't work. It, it, it didn't work. It don't work long term. It don't work long term. Because it shows how shallow the relationship is. Because if you were just coming for money, then how the fuck did you expect love? Why are you mad at that man for, why are you mad at that rich man for cheating on you, bitch? <laughs> you, you knew what you came for. He knew what you came for. And now you're mad. I see that a lot in the white community, but moving on, because I don't really care about y'all business. Anyway, I um, I feel great. I feel great. I feel like the Damiana be making me more productive, because I'll be smoking weed, and I'll literally sit there on TikTok all day until my phone dies, and it keeps me from, it keeps me stagnant. I notice my phone keeps me stagnant. It's, all, it's right here now, just because I charge it in the house i was trying to charge it while i was doing this and then it it charged a good amount but i don't need it like i'm not on it i was just on the phone with my boyfriend previously but like i said i don't really be needing it it's just be there because i have nothing else to do right now i got a dollar in my account it's probably going to negatives like hopefully it don't because it been in negatives twice this week because it's just like you know shit happens right now nothing's happening good or bad it's just neutral right now and i'm making it good because i get to do this right here like for real like i like how fluent i'm becoming more and more when i get to talk because i can because i said so like i finally say so i'm making myself more uncomfortable like more and more and i see it for the good too because this is some shit I would have never did last year. This is some shit I would have never did before. Because I would be sitting there thinking of it. And not actually doing it. And I would be like damn. Like girl. Like this is. Like you're really doing it. Girl you're really doing it. Like that's what I mean. <laughs> I do want to come up with more topics though. 
because I do, since I go with the flow, it's like, whatever I think of, I'm going to discuss. I guess my, my thing getting low, burning my um, nail again. Yeah, we just chilling. Because I really can't find, and that's another thing, I could be finding good YouTubers um, back to back. And I will admit that it's because of their consistency, for one. Or it's that um, my consistency. Like, I just don't be having interest in the same person over and over. And un only because you could tell either they change, like, dynamic-wise, or they just say something that rub you the wrong way, I guess. But I've had YouTubers that rub me the wrong Well, they don't rub me the wrong way, but I disagree with some things. But I'll still watch them because... They're still being themselves. And it's like, at the end of the day, I just want people to be themselves. I really do. Like, I really do believe that that will make you go the farthest if you be yourself. Literally. You could be misunderstood. I'm misunderstood here and all. Like, I gave you a prime example of be me being misunderstood and how black people are quick to judge, are quick to say some shit or have a side comment about me. And it's like, why are you worried about me? Mwah. Because I really don't be giving a fuck about what other people got going on. And people be randomly telling me what other people got going on. I'm just looking at them like, why did you tell me that? But I don't want to be rude. Like, you know, like, if I'm comfortable enough, like, if we've been friends that long, then yeah. I'd be like, why, girl, why did you tell me that? Like, do you know why you said that? Why did you say that? Like, I get it. You just need something to talk about, I guess. But if I need something to talk about, I'll be trying to think of the next conspiracy, honestly. I be trying to think of well, I'm gonna say just a theory because eh, ain't really nothing conspiracy about it. It's like most of that shit actually do happen or did happen, and it's just for the time being. So it's really not a theory. It's just a fact waiting to be proven. Hmm. Let's see. What can we talk about, y'all? And well, I don't say I'm also guilty of consistency too. So I hope that when I do like blow up and it's actually pay off, it's like I'm still doing what I do best, and that's being me. But I'm working on my consistency. It, it, what you know? If you caught that, yeah. I do be having bars sometimes, but, you know, I tried to do a little songwriting for my boyfriend, and this man literally just took bar from bar, word from word, and said it was his, I'm just playing, <laughs> but I know when we first met in the summer, I tried to little, write a little song, like, I thought I was a songwriter for real, like, I was thinking about my whole career after writing this for him, and he wasn't feeling it, so, um, let's change the subject, um, I'm sorry, um, but yeah, like, well, he said that he took, like, some words, like, he, he tried to, he probably took none of, but, you know, look at the bird, and look, y'all said the bird was coming, and it's right behind my Chromebook, I don't want to turn the, well, should I turn around, I want to scare him, look, he's got, oh, shit, he's already gone, but yeah, y'all said birds were a sign, so I shave, baby, I shave, I shave, baby, you know, I thought I was gonna catch two, 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 but it's whatever, you know, I be catching all types of uh, angelic numbers. But back to what I was saying about my boyfriend. Um, usually, Literally stealing my words. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I do for real feel like he took like the enough. And he just trying to make me feel better. Because I was feeling myself. Like I thought I was a songwriter. Like that was straight from the heart, from the soul. Like for real. <laughs> like I was like, I don't even remember what I said. It was so long ago. That's why. But it was like, for real. Like, I was, I even picked the beat. That was when I was picking all his beats, too. Yeah. Because he blow up. I'm finna be mm, dabbing on them, you know? I'm gonna be dabbing on them. But, um, anyway. So, for real, though. Like, I don't know. It's like, when you have this good-ass feeling about stuff you do, it, it does, like, boost you in general about yourself because people be like damn I hate myself and I do not hate myself I I really don't I really I'm really mad at myself for even letting the words come out because I don't and it is a strong word and I be using that shit with family members like no I fucking hate y'all for real because at the moment 
I am getting, I'm releasing them, I guess, whatever the fuck. But it's like, still, I, I just, y'all disgust me. I want you to know that. Like, that's what it is. Because when I hear stories and you look at the person and how they treated you, it's like, okay, it does add up. It does make sense. Matter of fact, you know, it just shows people who they are for real, for real. But I think this shit kicking in because I forgot what I said before that. Um. next question um let's see shit we already at the 20 minute mark that's I, that's what i want to do for i want to do an average of like 20 minutes each so that i can just keep boom 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 boom, boom, boom you know because i'm gonna do another one right quick just to do like i guess a part two or just to just just to just just 